Welcome to Simulator Adventures and welcome back to Train Simulator. Today we're continuing looking at the Tohoku High Speed Rail and Main Line route by doing this scenario here, the sound of spring rain. Good day driver. In this rainy morning you will drive this 701 series train for a short service on the Tohoku Main Line. Stop at all stations on your way to Hizumi Station. Okay, so this is um, a, a track that runs parallel to the high speed rail line which we drove recently in the bullet train. Um, it's about 50 kilometers long, and here we are at Morioka. We're going to Hizumi. Hizume. Uh, here we are. This is where we ended last time, I believe. Oh, look at all those adverts there. Um, oh, Lawson. That's very close to an actual shop, I think, which is called Lawson in Japan, which is quite cool. Um, it's like a grocery store. But anyway, the, I love the detail of the map. I think it really does look good. But now, let's have a look at this 701 series. This is a commuter train. And basically, because the um, because the high-speed bullet trains don't stop at every station, people have to like get on this if they want to go to one of the stations that is closer, like just a few kilometres down the line. Um, because the bullet train is all about getting getting you far away very quickly. Now I've got to work out all the controls. So what's this? Headlight switch. There you go. There you go. Two is it two or yeah, two is fine. Okay, headlight dimmer, no, and cab light, we need cab light. There we go, cab light on. Now we're going to put release or like B3 there, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what are these? Is that the pantograph up? We've got it up already. Um, emergency brake, okay, that looks fine. Pantograph down, confirm, yep. Looks all good to me. We've got the wiper on, that looks all cool. We've got a, a sun visor, don't know what that is few like fuse switches up here which is cool. Can we open the window? Doesn't look like we can. Another different view. If we can sit here or we can sit over here. Now getting quite low FPS unfortunately in the cockpit of the train or the cab. Um, and then we're going to put it to forward. I think we're ready to go once the doors close. And we'll have a kind of half an hour long journey today. Alright so we go release. And off we go. Hopefully the FPS will increase as we go out of this town. So yeah, the 701 series is operated in the northeast area of Japan um, by companies including East Japan Railway, Aomori Railway and Iwate Galaxy Railway. Oh my goodness. That's not nice. Yeah, I understand. I understand. I'm confirming. There isn't a signal of danger. That's really weird. So what is that noise? Um, look, we've got a pocket watch there. Is there any way I can stop this? There you go, it's gone. Well, that was weird. Um, we've got a two-car set here. So it's quite a small train. We're probably going to fit, like, maybe, what, 50 or 100 people on here? Maybe 100. Um, but we're stopping at all stations, so we don't really need a massive train, do we? Hopefully we'll see some nice traffic on the route today. So yeah, I've, I don't know, I don't really know what that ding a ling -ing was. Um, anyway, in the interior we've got lots of different views, which looks quite cool. No passengers, unfortunately, but that's alright. And this is very typical of most smaller Japanese trains, very typical. Wow, the FPS is low. That's a shame, really. I mean, the FPS was um, operational error. What? The FPS was quite good on the other one, but in this, it's terrible. That's really weird. We've got some cherry blossom, which you'd expect for the spring. Unfortunately, it's a bit of a rainy day today, but, you know, not much we can do about that. Spring showers and all that. Right, a bit of braking. Remember, I'll leave a link to the route down in the uh, description, so you can go and check it out. It's on Just Trains. You make some brilliant routes. And the more Japanese routes we have, the better, because I don't think there are enough Japanese routes in Train Sim yet. Here we are. Let's 
I mean, I have a good PC, and I know I'm recording, which does kind of decrease the um, FPS, but it shouldn't be this low. Right. I think that's a good place to stop. Open the doors. We're a few seconds late. Okay. Have a look around the cab and see what there is. I don't know what's making... I, I, again, there's a lot of bing-bonging noises on this uh, map. Um, just a repeating noise from that. From the station, I guess. Is she going to make it on? Yep, she made it on. Right, timeless bonus. Good. Off we go. I think she may have just missed her train. Yeah, and her. Don't worry, there'll be one along very soon. Right. Um, so yeah, this is the only other train you get with the route. I mean, getting two trains with a route is really cool. And these are well detailed. They look good. Perhaps this train isn't very well optimised, but, you know, it is... I mean, it may even be just a little bit better quality than the um, other train. No, do we have to honk the horn here? Is that what that means? Or is that just a bridge? I'll honk the horn anyway. Wow, that is quite some horn. More like a whistle, really. Iwati... Uh, is that Lioke? Li Lioka? Lioka? I don't know. Now, what is operational error? Am I missing something? I'm not doing something? I don't know. I really don't know. Now we can go about a hundred, I reckon. We've got over two kilometres to the next station. And yeah, I really am enjoying this route. There we go. Are we going to be on time? No, we need to we need to make up a bit of time. So, all right, come off the throttle now. Is there a speed hold? I don't know. Again, with the regulator handle that looks more like a, a, a cane that someone would use to walk with. There you go. I'll do it at the um, junctions, just in case. I wonder if they'd ever put like random events where people went on to the um, crossings. I doubt they'd ever do that. Speeding, uh-oh. God, getting a lot of negative points for speeding. Right, brake. God, you can brake quite a lot, look at that. Good brakes. Let's head as close to the bridge as possible. Because that seems like the best place to stop. Here. Unlock the doors. Here we go. So as we move out of that city, the FPS is improving. Um, an interesting looking town here. And of course, up here is where the Shinkansen goes. Um, in fact, I think I can actually see one coming along the line. You see, it's like a floating light. What is that? Just a, it's just a floating light. That's not, that's not a Shinkansen. Oh, it's another one of these trains! Yay! That's cool. We get to see one of our fellow um, 701s. Right, 
accelerating away. How many more stations are there? There's, we've done three and there's four left. Okay. Next one's in four kilometers. So yeah, quite a relaxing uh, route, really. The stations are far enough apart that you can get up to some good speed. The trains are easy to handle. The Shinkansen is really easy to handle. It's so um, fast and smooth to drive. Here we go. That's a four car consist. Wow. So we've got a pretty small one today. It's only like, it's not even, it's not rush hour. So I suppose, you know, makes sense. Yeah, most of the Just Trains routes sometimes have these like flat areas that are a little bit boring. Like in real life, I doubt it actually looks like that. I bet there's more to that field than just a bit of grass and four roads. But um, no, generally they're, they're as good as the um, dovetail routes and sometimes even better. Right, we're coming up to Yahaba. It would be nice to see Asian Kansen up here at some point. Is that one? No. There is quite a bit of traffic on just train streets, which I really like. It's a lot more traffic usually than the train sim routes. Now, I'm not going to say that this may be the last video I do on train sim, because it's probably not going to be. I keep, I keep saying it every time I play this game. Uh, on this channel, but it never is the last time, is it? But um, people do like this, these these videos. They're some of my most popular videos. We got a crossing up here. I can hear it. Yep. Again, we'll go to where the bridge is. If anybody knows what that operational error is, I'd love to know. Right. That's perfect. Let's have a look around this station. Whoa. You can kind of see out the windows, that's quite cool. Um, no, I can't, I can't see a, a bullet train. If we look down the line, is there one? There's a, there's a train there. No. Shame, really. I'll keep my fingers crossed, but somehow I doubt it. Now, this seems to be the most substantial uh, network, sta uh, station on the network, sorry. Um, this is like the main line, commuter main line, I think it's called, which is quite interesting. Whoa, that bird is really loud. Um, okay, so let's go. Max speed. Three more to go. So yeah, another interesting route. Um, I'd love to see a Tokyo Metro underground um, route, which would be really cool. Go right through the center. One of the busiest underground railways in the world. And um, there's a lot of route to model on that. So it'd be almost limitless content. Uh, that'd be really cool. 
And of course it comes in and out of the ground. It's about, sometimes it's above ground, sometimes it's underground. And so I'd love to see that. I've yet to do anything on like the London Underground. There is a London Underground route on the um, Train Sim World 2. So maybe one day I'll play that. Depends what you guys want to see. I don't know if it is the, the, the etiquette or the rules to kind of honk your horn before you get up to a, um, a level crossing in Japan, but I know it is in the UK, so I feel like I just do it anyway. There's no harm in doing it. I mean, if I'm being truthful, I do find the uh, bullet train more interesting. It is a lot of fun. But this is pretty interesting as well. I've said it before, you know, the novelty of driving in Japan is really cool. And it really remi this really reminds me of the old Microsoft Train Sim Japanese routes. If you uh, remember those, they were really cool back in the day. And I think perhaps Train Sim has lost a bit of its charm over the years. Um, it feels more mass-produced rather than something built with care. That's partly down to Dovetail Games, I suppose. They've made a lot of content for this game. Um, but the original Microsoft Train Sim, if, I don't know if people remember playing that back in the day. But it was competing with things like Trains, which... Trains with a Z. Which, you know, didn't really have a soul compared to Microsoft Train Sim. It was like... The, the trains that are in that route were quite different. We have things like the Flying Scotsman. We had things like, um, oh, all sorts. There was loads of, like, DLC and mods for it. And it was really ahead of its time. And over the years, yeah, this game has kind of kept that. Because, this, you know, this game is actually based, basically, on that game. If you kind of look down the generations of what this game is based on, which is quite interesting. But, um, oh, what was that? Was that us driving over this little bridge, I guess? Um... Yeah, so like it went to like called Railworks, I think. And then it became the train sim we know and love. But um, yeah, I don't know, I just have a, I have a soft spot for Microsoft train sim, I suppose. Right, two more platforms to go to. Look at those cars out there in the fields. Look at that. How long does that road go on for? Because I guess they have modelled these roads pretty well. Yeah, look at that. It's like a constant road. That is cool. And again, a nice looking town with lots of different variations of these Japanese style buildings. A lot, a lot of houses here, actually. Look at how well modelled that is. Um, it's, I mean, it's, this map kind of competes with some of the stuff you see in Trains in World, I think. Which is always a good thing. And you know what I'm going to do after this? I've been looking at a few games I think I want to, want to do off camera. And there's a route called Marsdenshire in Train Sim. Um, which I have. And that's like a custom route that uh, Just Trains made many years ago. And I thought, yeah, I, I really want to play that again. Because it is good fun. It's a fictional route. So yeah, I mean, I don't know how much content I'll do on Train Sim throughout 2022. I'm still getting used to the fact that, you know, we are in 2022. I sometimes like say 2021 instead. But um, if it continues to be popular, expect more content. That's all I can say. If you give this video a like, if you're subscribed to the channel, um, or if you found me through this, um, found my channel through this, that's always a good sign. And uh, maybe leave a leave a like and a comment to say you want to see more. And maybe recommend me something you want to see because I'm looking for new routes. Sometimes they're quite expensive, but I tend to get them in sales. You know, I think that's the best time to get routes and trains them. I have a feeling we're not going to see a train coming down the coming down the line. We would have heard one by now. Like, 
whiz past. Okay. Shiwa Chuo. We're getting about 30 FPS now. As train sim goes, that's not too bad. Break. Is continuous service the same as emergency? I really don't know. Now, is that woman walking towards us? Yeah, she... Come on, you can make it. You can make it. She's like forward moonwalking. And she's going to walk through the pole. Yeah, okay. This lady's on the wrong platform. Uh oh. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, they do walk really weird in this, don't they? Um, oh, that scared me. That really scared me. Okay. Train Sim Jump Scares 2022. Jump Scare compilation. Um, oh, look at this. It's so well detailed. Look at this. I love it. They don't need to put this much detail into these buildings, do they? Let's look at the amount of variations of... Ooh, weird. Look at the amount of variations of buildings we've got. I know that some of them are just basically retextured and recolored, but this is amazing. Just trains are fantastic. They really are. Right, here we go. We're coming up now to the last stop, Hizume. And my dreams of seeing a Shinkansen are over because basically this is where the, pl the, the, the tracks kind of split. And I don't know how we drive on this bit. I don't even know what this bit of the track is. So, things like we're going to be on time though, which is good. Goodbye, bullet train line. Maybe we'll see you again soon. So it, was, it said 30 minutes, but we're going to be done in about 25. So that's good. We've got a 45 kilometer per hour speed limit coming up. So I'm just going to slow down for that. I don't really understand all the signage on the Japanese routes, but um, I'm sure I'll get used to them the more I play them. Is that a red light? I don't know. I think it was yellow, actually. So I think we're swapping platform. Yep, there we go. Swapping track, sorry. Brilliant. Ah. And we've got the bing-bonging again. So are we going to get some interesting information about the um, the place we have arrived at? Probably will do. Because here we are in Hizume. With a van driving round a roundabout. Oh, there we go. Here comes another train. Anything on the main line? No, but you can see really far in the distance. Look at that. Shush. Thank you. The stations are detailed. You can't really complain about this route, can you? It's really good. Um, so yeah, that was my look at the commuter mainline. Well then, you just finished this uh, scenario successfully. So there you go. Um, a second video on the Tohoku mainline and high-speed rail route. I hope you enjoyed that. Please let me know if you'd love to see more. Um, make sure to join my Discord server and comment down below and like this video if you enjoyed this um, content on this main, on this Just Trains route. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you soon for some more simulator adventures.
Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe and check out these videos for more content. Also remember to join my Discord server from the link in the description.